Right, we're going to have a little look now at sustainability, and in particular, the six R's of sustainability. Um, these are the ways the products impact the environment, especially the waste they produce, and how we as designers, users, or consumers can try and reduce that waste. Uh, the six R's are recycle, reduce, reuse, rethink, refuse, and repair. There are other things like recover, uh, but they don't fit into the AQA syllabus. I like to think of them in two halves. So your physical ways of uh, of thinking sustainably are recycle, reduce, and reuse. They're things that you physically can do. And rethink, refuse, and repair are more conceptual or societal changes that we need to think about. So the first one is recycle. Uh, recycle is how we can convert materials back into their basic material and remake them into new products. Uh, so recycling a plastic bottle, a Coca-Cola bottle maybe made out of LDPE, would involve melting it back down and remolding it through blow molding into a new product, maybe a new bottle. Uh, aluminium cans can be melted down to make new products, etc. 80% of the world's aluminium is recycled material. Uh, that's because bauxite, which is the ore of aluminium, takes a lot of energy to extract the aluminium from. So recycle is about converting material back into their basic materials and reprocessing them into a new product. Reducing is, is obviously just about reducing the amount of material used in a product um, that could be through packaging, it could be making things thinner, smaller, uh, using less material. It's also about using less energy in the manufacture of a product, uh, using more energy efficient machinery and production lines, and also using less uh, packaging in the product itself. So you'll see new products in the supermarket use far less uh, one-use plastic packaging. So reducing the amount of material used, which obviously reduces the material that goes into landfill. We also have reuse. Now, reuse needs to have a distinct difference from recycle. In reuse, we do not reprocess the material into its basic form. Rather, we use it again for the same or a different purposes. Glass milk bottles are a really good example of that. Uh, in that you take your glass milk bottle, you use the milk, you leave it outside and the milkman refills it with milk. So you use the same glass bottle over and over again. That reduces the amount of material therefore going to landfill as waste or the amount of material being thrown away. So we're reusing a product again. It is not being made into another product. The three societal changes then... Uh, in terms of the six R's of sustainability. One would be rethink. That is you as a consumer or as a designer asking the question, do you really need that product? Do you really need to replace your mobile phone every year on a new contract? Do you really need that new T-shirt or dress? Do you really need that new product or can you live without it? In that way, we're going to use less products and less material refusing saying no i don't need that product so for example do i refuse to use a one use plastic product refuse to use a a one off coffee cup uh, should i use a refillable coffee cup instead should i refuse to use tempe carrier bags at the supermarket and use less material that way and the other way is repair should i instead of throwing a product away and buying a new one because it's probably easier should I learn the skills in order to repair a product? Um, do I have a responsibility to design a product that can be repaired easier? Uh, does it take fewer resources to replace the part of a product rather than replacing the whole item if I threw it away and bought a new one? So there are six R's of sustainability. Recycle, reuse, and reduce. Repair, rethink and redesign.